Windows is designed to work on a variety of hardware systems. Unfortunately, one size doesn't always fit all. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can customize settings like your resolution and text size to make the screen easier to read. We'll also look at how you can change some of your colors and wallpaper to brighten up windows and make it a bit more personal. Let's take a closer look. You might want to customize your desktop to make it more accessible or user-friendly and easier to work with. Before I begin showing you how to customize your desktop environment, it's worth reminding you that customization settings for the PC are done using charms. Windows 8 Modern Apps and the Windows 8 features like the Start screen and the Lock screen are all configured in this way by using PC Settings application. Whereas the desktop is largely configured through the Control Panel. If you are interested in learning more about configuring PC settings, we do have a separate video that you can watch after this video is finished. This video focuses on desktop settings, so let's get straight to the desktop. Things that I might like to change on the desktop environment would be the speed with which my mouse pointer moves. I recently bought a new mouse, and as soon as I plugged it in and moved the mouse just an inch, the pointer whizzed off the edge of the screen. Not very user-friendly at all. So I'll show you how to change some of those settings, as well as things like your window color schemes. To access these personalization settings, I can use the charms. So I move the mouse pointer to the bottom or top right hand corner and choose settings. But my options here will force me to go into control panel or the personalization settings that are in control panel. Let me show you control panel first. The control panel has hundreds of options that you could configure, all arranged in these structures of links. The control panel is mostly used by IT professionals and advanced users, and I definitely don't want to try and show you all the settings in the control panel because we'd be here forever. What I would like to show you though is some shortcuts and useful techniques on finding the settings you need to change. So I'll close the control panel, and then I'll go back to the charms, pick up settings, and choose personalization. As you can see, I have opened the control panel again, but I've actually taken a shortcut through the appearance and personalization settings and gone straight to personalization. Here is where I can change my window color, for example. I simply click the link and then choose a color scheme that suits me. Choosing the automatic icon will automatically adjust your window colors based on the desktop wallpaper. I'll cancel the changes because I don't actually want to change it yet. Changing my windows colors might be a useful cosmetic change to help me feel a bit more at home by personalizing my windows environment. But there might be some other settings that are actually necessary from a usability point of view. An example of this might be that I've recently purchased a huge monitor and while it's very impressive to have such a big screen, the default resolution is so high that all the fonts and text in the windows is too small to read. So I would fix this by going to my display settings and choosing one of these options here to enlarge the contents of all the Windows elements. This one's already been customized for the filming of these videos. But you can see from the preview that as I change between the elements, that things like my title bar and dialog boxes and buttons are all enlarged, making them easier to read. I should point out that if you do change any of these values, you will need to log off and log back on again before they take effect. Something that's perhaps a bit easier to change is the size of the text in individual elements of the screen. So for example, the text on the title bar. Now at the moment, it's actually quite easy to read. But just to give you an illustration, if that was on the minimum size, and I apply that setting, this is what it looks like on a monitor where it's far too small for you to read at a comfortable distance. So I can increase the size of that to something a bit more legible by changing the setting and clicking apply. And now you can see that is much clearer to read. So even if you don't need glasses, you might want to think about changing some of these settings if you get a new monitor with a very big resolution. Earlier on, I did mention that I'd like to change some mouse settings. You might have noticed along the menus on the side of the screen that when I went into personalization, I had an option to change some of my mouse values. But as I navigated to display, 
that option wasn't available anymore. This often happens in Control Panel, that it's not easy to click a link to get the setting you want. So I'll show you a much better way of finding the setting that you want to change in Control Panel. So let's close the display configuration and go back to the Start screen. Remember that in Windows 8, you can use the Start screen to search for almost everything in Windows 8. So why not my mouse settings? If, for example, I want to change the pointer speed, I can just search for mouse pointer speed. If I go to my settings, I can then find search results that let me take a shortcut to that particular setting. If I click the link, then it will open up the mouse properties that I would normally have had to go dig around in control panel to find. I can now change my pointer speed to the appropriate value. I might have to experiment a bit with this to get the right pointer speed. If I also want to change which button brings up the context menu, I don't have to look at all the different tabs to find that setting. I can simply change the values that I wanted, close that dialog box, and then go back to the start screen. This time, I've only typed the keyword mouse, and as you can see, instead of having four settings like I did previously, I've got 21 settings. I don't want to overwhelm you with the options, but I wanted to show you that I can find the link to change almost any mouse setting that I would want to. So in this case, if I want to change my mouse click settings, I can go to that link there. From here, I can change which button brings up the left or right click menu. And here I can adjust my double click speed, changing the adjuster, and then double clicking in the test area. See, I'm double clicking fairly slowly now, and it's not working. So I could adjust that to a slower speed if this is a more natural double click speed for me. I don't actually want to change those settings, so I'll just cancel the dialog box. To review, my desktop window settings and my desktop environment settings work differently from my Windows 8 app settings. Although I begin by using the charms, my charm setting options will redirect me either to the control panel or the personalization settings. Rather than trying to remember where everything is in control panel, I can either take a shortcut to the popular personalization settings, or I can use the start screen to search the control panel to find what I want. If you're frustrated with a particular window setting and you think that you should be able to change it, go ahead and search your start screen. Just bear in mind that if you're using a computer that is under the control of a corporate IT environment, you might not be able to change some of those settings. In which case, you'll have to talk to your IT department for assistance in changing something that you need.